Hi everybody, so today I'm gonna to be talking about muscle growth anatomy, and you can see it's Friday. I have my Jaguars uh, jersey on, so way to end Friday. So let's go ahead and get started. And the first thing I'm going to do is we are going to talk, I'm gonna show you, this is a muscle fiber. So what exactly are we talking about when we talk about the growth anatomy? This is a muscle fiber, right? It's also known as a muscle cell. All right, so that's gonna be this here. So what I'm going to do now is I am going to take this muscle fiber or my muscle cell, I'm gonna pull it out, I'm gonna turn it right like that, and then you're looking right down my muscle fiber, right? So if I take this out and I turn it that way, you're looking right down the muscle fiber and it would look something like this. Okay, there's my muscle fiber. Looking right down at it, right? So now, surrounding my muscle fiber, I am going to have something called endomycium. So let's go like this and put my endomycium right here. This is called endomycium and it surrounds muscle fibers. Okay, so now surrounding that muscle fiber, I am going to have more muscle fibers. And I'm making it look like these are in a pattern. They're really not, but it's just easier for me to draw. So now what I'm going to do is these are all going to be surrounded by endomycium. Okay, these are all surrounded by endomycium. So this is my endomycium here, surrounded all of these muscle fibers. So now we have basically a bundle of muscle fibers and we'll come back to this in just a few minutes. So now, the next thing I'm going to have next to this is I am going to have more muscle fibers around this. Okay, and again, there's a lot more than this, but in the interest of time, I'm just gonna draw five on there. And then what this is gonna have around it is called, you guessed it, endomycium, because endomycium surrounds muscle fibers. So there it is. Okay, and let's draw one more. So let's go like this, and I'm gonna make some more. Muscle fiber, and we're gonna surround it with this. So this is going to be my endomycium on this, okay? So I drew them different colors. All endomycium is the same, and again, I just drew different colors to distinguish these, okay? So, we go like this. This is my endomycium. My endomycium surrounds muscle fibers. And again, muscle fibers are also called muscle cells. All right, so we're there. Now, I'm not gonna draw more because it just takes too much time. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna duplicate these, okay? So we'll go like this, and there's another bundle of muscle fibers and another bundle of muscle fibers and another bundle and another bundle and another bundle okay so we have bundles of muscle fibers so just i'll just stick some muscle fibers and we'll just pretend the endomycium is the white part that's in here okay so there's my muscle fibers now here's what's going to happen next is these bundles of cells have a name and these are going to be called fascicles Okay, fascicles are bundles, and I think I just said nerves, it's bundles of muscle fibers. Okay, bundles of muscle fibers, or like I said, cells are called fascicles, okay? So I think I said nerves, it's bundles of muscle fibers, okay? So now, surrounding this bundle of muscle fibers, I am going to have something else that surrounds this. So it's gonna come like this, and it's gonna surround all of these. Okay, it's gonna surround all of these fascicles here. And this is going to be called perimycium. So perimycium is gonna actually be in here between the fascicles and separating all this stuff out. Okay, so the pink here is going to be my perimycium. Let's go like this. 
I don't know if you can see that, but we have the pink line, so just let me use this. This is going to be my perimyceum. So perimyceum, it's going to surround fascicles. Okay, and we see, again, fascicles are bundles of muscle fibers, and it's going to contain blood vessels. It contains blood vessels in there. Okay, so that's my perimyceum. Now, I am not gonna draw more of this. I'm just gonna draw the circle like I did here. And, and just so you know, this, so this would be a fascicle, this would be a fascicle, 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 fascicle. All right, I'm gonna draw another one. So this is the same as this. All right, I just don't feel like drawing all the colors and the muscle fibers and stuff like that. All right, and let's draw another one. So you can see, I have a whole bunch of these in here. Let's draw another one. Okay, and don't worry about how many circles I'm putting in here. Um, you have a lot in there. I just am saving time. Okay, so surrounding all of this now, you are going to have something called the epimyceum. So my epimyceum is going to come all the way around this, around all of this. And boom, okay? And this is going to be my epimyceum. And this surrounds the whole muscle. Okay, M stands for muscle. So that's going to surround the whole muscle. Now, at the end of this here, at the end of my muscle fiber, this is all the muscle fibers are going to come together. Right? All the muscle fibers I have are going to come together, right? I'm just showing one here. You have a whole bunch of these. They're going to come together and they're going to form, the, uh, they're going to attach to something made of collagen. We call that a tendon. My tendon is now going to attach onto a bone. Okay, so this is a bone. So my tendon is going to attach onto a bone. Okay, so let's look at this one more time. I have my muscle fiber. My muscle fiber is surrounded by endomycium. Okay, so this orange is endomycium, the green is endomycium, the red is endomycium, the white would be endomycium in here, right? This makes up a bundle of cells called a fascicle. A bundle of muscle fibers called a fascicle. A bunch of these fascicles are then surrounded by perimycium, right, which is gonna surround my fascicles but it's also gonna contain blood vessels. Then I'm gonna get a whole bunch of these with the fascicles and perimyceum surrounded by the epimyceum. And they are gonna make up a muscle. Okay, so that makes up the whole muscle. So that's it for the gross anatomy of the muscle. Um, thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please hit the like and subscribe button and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.